In this video, we will show you how to create a sales invoice. You would do this when you want to record your agreement with a customer to sell your products on certain delivery and payment terms. While sales orders can do much the same, you should use a sales invoice when you either need to ship only part of the order or when you sell items that your vendor delivers directly to your customer, which is known as drop shipping. On the home page, choose the sales invoice action. In the customer field, enter the name of an existing customer. If you need to create one, we have created a video detailing this process. Other fields in the sales invoice window contain standard information about the selected customer. Fill in the remaining fields in the sales invoice window as necessary. You can now fill in the sales invoice lines with inventory items or services that you want to sell to the customer. If you have set up recurring sales line for the customer, such as a monthly replenishment order, then you can insert these lines on the invoice by choosing the Get Recurring Sales Line Action. On the Lines Fast tab in the Item field, select the number of an inventory item or service. In the Quantity field, enter the number of items to be sold. If the item is a service, the quantity is a time unit such as hours, as indicated in the Unit of Measure code field on the line. The price and line amounts are with or without VAT, depending on what you selected in the Prices Including VAT field on the customer card. If you want to give a discount, enter a percentage in the Line Discount Percentage field. The value in the Line Amount field updates accordingly. If special item prices are set up on the invoicing fast tab on the customer card, the price and amount on the quote line automatically update if the price criteria is met. To add a comment about the quote line that the customer can see on the printed sales quote, write text in the description field on an empty line. Fill in a new line for every item that you want to offer to the customer. The totals under the lines are automatically calculated as you create or modify lines. In the Invoice Discount Amount field, enter an amount that should be deducted from the values shown in the Total Including VAT field. If you have set up invoice discounts for the customer, then the specified percentage value is automatically inserted in the Invoice Discount Percentage field if the criteria are met and the related amount is inserted in the Invoice Discount Amount Excluding VAT field. When the sales invoice lines are completed, choose the Post and Send action. The Post and Send confirmation dialog box displays the preferred sending method for the customer. You can change the sending method by choosing the Lookup button for the Send Document To field. The related item and customer ledger entries are now created in your system and the sales invoice is output as a PDF document. The sales invoice is removed from the list of sales invoices and replaced with a new document in the list of posted sales invoices.